Hello again to my beautiful YouTube friends around the world. Uh, I wanted to give some updates. I've changed my YouTube channel name to Michael and Angie Lee because um, I'm part of a team now and my cousin and Colorado husband, Michael Lee, is um, he's gonna be part of my YouTube channel. We, we wanna focus on, on our message, our joint message to all of you guys. Um, as of this moment, our petition has reached 330 supporters, so we are just about at one-third of our 1,000 goal, and this is most of it's occurred in the last 48 hours, which is really exciting since the news of our story broke on Tuesday, um, Tuesday afternoon. Um, and so I really especially want to give special thanks and gratitude for all of you who don't even know us, who went and, and added your signature to our petition to legalize our marriage in Utah. And, um, and, and especially those of you who went out of your way to defend us to people who might have negative comments and hurtful comments. Um, you guys are amazing. Uh, what else can I say? Please continue to share our petition with your friends. Um, those of you who know me personally, feel free to share your experience with people who might bring this up. You know, um, we're trying our best to do what's right for our family. And um, it just means everything to us that you would all you know, pitch in and, and take a minute to sign our petition. Um, what else do I have? Whew. The last few days since Sunday have been just absolutely crazy for us. You know, we drove to Colorado Sunday afternoon, stayed the night, got married Monday morning and drove straight back. Tuesday morning we were contacted by the local news, interviewed, broadcast at 4 p.m. and then the next morning it was CBS who wanted to in phone interview me and New York Daily News. I know what I was gonna say. Michael did a phone interview with the dailymail.com and um, they published a typo saying that he was a full-time model, which is funny because what he really said was he works in remodeling, like remodeling cabinetry and homes. And so, um, now, I wouldn't say that's far-fetched because he's a good-looking guy, my husband. Um, I could see him on billboards. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if he wants to model, if opportunities come through that, that's cool. We're looking for all kinds of ways to use this um, awareness and publicity to not only promote our cause and get it done, get it pushed through the law, but also to um, support ourselves financially because I'm currently unemployed and the reason for this is I quit my job and this will make sense, a lot more sense in a few days. Well, I was an exotic dancer for almost 10 years after my divorce and it, it was very lucrative for me. Um, some people just won't believe that I was an exotic dancer, a successful one at that, but it's true. Um, I'm quite the hustler. And anyways, I quit my job and it was, it was a huge step for me. It was really difficult. Something I'd been wanting to do for years, but just didn't have the courage to do to, to make such a drastic change. And you know, what will I do next? What's my next step? and the investment that that would take and the time that would take and transitioning to something much, much less um, profitable for me. Anyways, I quit my job to focus on my family and what I believe is the best thing for my health. And um, so at this point, we are hoping for any opportunities that we can find to um, monetize our situation, to um, use, use the current situation to help us along. Um, gosh, I'm kind of tired today. 
this has all been a, a little bit overwhelming. Um, so, you know, we've talked about writing a book together about our story. I think it's a compelling story that people are starting to pay attention to. And I also wanted to add that it's been really, really neat to hear um, the stories of people who've come and messaged me privately about their um, experiences with their cousins. Um, about a dozen people have contacted me and said that they are in a very similar situation with their cousins. Some of them even have kids and they're all healthy and beautiful, which is um, very encouraging for, for me and Michael and our future family. Um, and they, they applaud us for our courage to publicly talk about this and, and put it out there and be subject to the criticism that, you know, any random person could hurl at us. So um, any, any of you cousin couples out there that want to share your story publicly, please just send me your story. Um, you know, stand with us because the more of us stand up and speak out, the more that we're going to be able to show the world that it's not that crazy. It is a little bit unusual. It's very uncommon. Um, but it does happen and we're not freaks. We have a very deep and very special love with our cousins and um, it can be scary to face the judgment and biases of other people um, and even family members. But this is a great opportunity to bring awareness uh, especially in the world today where everything you do becomes so public. If it's something that stands out, everyone talks about it. And this is a good chance to talk about it and just um, kind of alter public perception of this kind of obscure, suddenly not so obscure um, phenomenon. Um, I think that's about it for now. And stay tuned for more videos. Um, Michael will be will be uh, making some videos with me this weekend. So please um, watch, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And um, we love you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, you've made a difference in our lives. Um, thank you.